How to make cassava leaves? Let's see, cassava leaves, fresh cassava leaves from start to finish. So let's get started. I have um, eggplant and uh, I have onion, I have habanero um, pepper, garlic, uh, green pepper, and ling. In the first step, you need to pick your cassava leaves first. I'm going to use the palm oil. This uh, you can order it on Amazon too. Amazon sell palm oil if you didn't know. Okay, start with the young leaves. They're very soft and you just go like this. I love to do this. Oh, so good. The cassava leaves is washed. Your next step will be to blend your cassava leaves. Okay, let's. So add a little bit of water and start the blending. So I did introduce to you that I'm gonna have a onion, garlic, and green green onion, ling and the pepper so i chop them all these ingredients are going when i'm blending the cassava leaves okay i'm gonna put it here and i'm gonna continue to put more 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 one here, one will go with the cooking. Okay, I'm gonna place it in a blender. Okay. <laughs> uh, cook the cassava leaves in a, take like a 45, so one hour. While your cassava leaves cooking, cut your eggplants. Okay, here you have your eggplants. Okay, add your eggplant to the cassava leaf. Let it cook until the water is gone. This is a cassava leaf cooking.
so so now we're going to add our dry fish this is my preference to add dry fish but if you have a dry meat or you have a whatever some people use a sardine yeah as you see the cassava leaves the water is not a lot of water left the water went down so now i can add my peanut butter this is the peanut butter i'm using if you can see this is a peanut butter organic peanut butter creamy yeah don't use the other peanut butter that is made for sandwich because uh, it, it have too much sugar on it so i'm using organic peanut butter creamy i'm gonna use just so but you can use as much you want you know so enough so mix all together Here, I'm going to add my palm oil. I'm going to add garlic. And I'm going to add onion. This time, the onion is in a strips. You don't have to overcook the onion because the onion will cook in the cassava. Then. Okay, lower the heat. Okay, good. Now make I put in a low so the cassava leaves can just cook slowly. We're almost done. Okay, that's the end of our cassava leaves. Okay, here the cassava leaves. Nice. And the cassava leaves. 